Brad Yasser is an entrepreneur and the founder of Beyond Enterprises, an advisory firm that focuses in part on cryptocurrency. He has spent hundreds of hours trying to save his Bitcoin after losing his digital wallet years ago. So far, as I understand it, there has been no luck. Look, Brad, uh, who is joining me tonight from Istanbul, um, for those not so Bitcoin or tech savvy, just explain what it means to lose your digital wallet, sir. Hello, thank you for having me. Um, it's, it's really simple. A digital wallet is just like a regular wallet or, or a bank account. If you lose access to it, you lose access to what's inside. But, um, you know, it works the same way. A digital wallet uh, contains all your digital assets, at, at least the types that it can accommodate and uh, gives you access to them. Um, you sound very calm about the fact that you have lost your digital wallet. Um, just, just remind us, how, how much have you misplaced as far as, you know, dollars and cents are concerned at this point? Well, I mean, I think the overall value is not that relevant. Um, it, it was um, quite a few Bitcoin uh, in, in a couple different wallets, but I also uh, was able to, um, you know, keep and preserve uh, a portion of it. So, um, you know, again, it was a good learning experience and, and uh, I wish uh, I had access to those, but it, it's really, um, you know, not a, a determining factor at this point because they're not accessible. Right. Um, so how I, I'm, I'm going to push you on this because um, because I think you say it, it's not an awful lot, um, but it's, I, I was told it was actually quite significant amount of what we'd say, you know, Bitcoin. Um, and I just wonder um, how much you'd have if you were able to access your wallet at this point, because obviously we're seeing the price shoot up at the moment, aren't we? Yes, I mean, it was several thousand Bitcoin. So um, depending on the, you know, market condition, it's in the hundreds of millions. Oh, OK. Um, ouch. Why did you decide to originally invest in Bitcoin out of interest? Um, I, I actually didn't invest in Bitcoin. I um, I learned about it through a friend of mine who sent me uh, a couple files to compile and said, Brad, you're going to enjoy these. Um, so I did compile them and it turned out to be a full Bitcoin node, a wallet and a miner. So I started mining Bitcoin in the early days. And at, in those days, you didn't need special equipment or really powerful uh, computers, you could just mine Bitcoin on a simple 286 PC and uh, mine 50 of them a day on a single machine. So it was a relatively different uh, setup than what we have today. So given the fact that it was mined, I didn't really pay for it. And at the time had no um, intrinsic value. It was just an experiment. Um, you know, I right. did not really think I would need access to them uh, 10 years, you know, later. But now you see now you see this incredible trajectory that Bitcoin is on at present. Um, how do you feel about that? I'm, I'm very happy. Uh, the, the wallets in question were my earlier wallets from 2009, 10 till um, maybe 12. 2012. Um, from that point on, I was uh, much more careful with all my crypto assets, not just mm. the Bitcoin. So lessons learned. And, and again, it's been a wonderful journey. Lessons learned on what has been a wonderful journey. Um, if our viewers are any, uh, for those who don't um, have a you know real understanding of Bitcoin, I'm not sure that that uh, we, we did a really particularly good job in explaining, because it is complicated. But look, um, you sound as if you're completely sanguine about things, so that's good. Thank you.